what's up guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics and entertainment uh right here i have a clip of um a marjorie uh, more than five trucks of a marjorie intercepted on their way to abia state today you get so and um these guys are creating pandemonium all over the country imagine the influx of a marjorie all over the entire south they have been intercepted in edo in delta in rivers in cross river aquaibo abia and what is actually going on from the look of things i'm suspecting there is a sinister plan of these guys what these guys are planning to do they are trying to create an expansion they are using this covid 19 pandemic to spread themselves because they know that people are not going to be on the watch you get me people are not people are going to be locked down there's there's not going to be any movement and what they are trying to do let me tell you this let me just tell you the truth what they are planning to do is they are planning so that they, once they get arrested by the police, you understand me? When once they get arrested in the whole state they are going into, they know they've already gotten to the state. They are they have succeeded. That's just the truth because there's going to be a call by other the 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 um the police IG to release them. That is just the truth. And they will release them within 48 hours. So what these guys are doing here, I, I really give kudos to this tax force guy. What they are doing, they are not even arresting them. They are sending them back. They escort them out of the border and send them back. So I want you to watch this video. And then after that, we'll come back once again and deliberate. And then we'll look at what is actually going on. Then you let me know what is in your mind. Drop your comment and let me know. Thank you very much. Hey, 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 We have to follow them. I'm going to have a 
So um, we actually give kudos to this um, task force COVID-19 task force team who are sending back these guys. I just wonder why these guys should be allowed to cross through several lockdown in different states. Now our government in place interstate lockdown. You understand? The Nigerian Governors Forum had agreed to lock down the interstate lockdown. So, uh, but we don't know why these northern governors are not enforcing it. You know, so when something like this happen, um, it's good. Questions are asked because if you want to look at it, Amajiris were deployed from from Kano State. They were deported from Kano to their various home state. On uh, reaching their various home state, whether their various home state rejected them and they had to migrate to the south, we do not know. But it is certain. One thing is certain: Amajiris have tested positive to COVID-19. Several of them in Kaduna in Jigawa, you know, so those ones that were, deep, that, were, that were sent away from Kano State have tested positive to COVID-19, you guess. So now, why are they coming to the South? That's a question. Why are they coming to the South? Are they coming to spread this COVID-19 here? Are they trying to bring death to us? Why can't they stay in their own state? You get me? Why can't they be in their state? Because there is lockdown everywhere. There's lockdown everywhere nowhere is comfortable right now so if you want to look at it when you ask this question and you will know there's a sinister plan and like i said earlier what they are trying to do they are trying to get themselves arrested in their various states and later they'll be released on bail that's what they want to do and once they get to the state they are arrested surely they are going to release them and release them then their evil plan will begin to materialize they are making this movement because they know we are not on the watch People are actually locked down by the government of the day and they are making silent penetration. That's what they are doing. They are not penetrating to the southeast, south, south. It appears as if we are being besieged and we are being surrounded. That is what is happening right now. Okay, look at what is happening in Lagos. Look at the, the rise of the one million gang. The rise of the one million gang terrorizing the entire Lagos and all of that. So with this uh pandemic uh, uh uh with this crisis they are causing men i don't know this what these guys are doing is a very big offense it's a criminal act state of lockdown they, they are supposed to be sent to prison but with the way this country is 
I don't think anything is going to happen. The best they could do is send them back to their various uh, states. You guess. So, uh, what do you guys think about this? Please, I want you to drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Be before you leave, please make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting that red subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. And before you go, once again, please drop your comment below what do you think could be the sinister plan of this amajuri and their governors for allowing them to come to the south what do you think could be their plan i want to know from you thank you very much god bless you real good